Good evening everyone, Colt Mitchell here from Gunsmoke Outdoors. Tonight I'm going to show you how to strip and clean a shotgun, semi-automatic shotgun. This happens to be a Remington uh, 1100 that I actually changed the stock out on um, because I actually wanted to use it for hunting. It's got a really nice wood stock. So the first thing we're going to do is check the action. Gun's empty, nothing in the chamber, nothing down below. Close it, open it, nothing in there. <clears throat> We're gonna remove the forearm cap. Set that down. Remove the forearm. Remove the barrel. There's some little pieces that can fall off. They go right on top of here. Uh, we're gonna then close the action. Let me open to show you. Real slow, hold it. There's two pins in here that hold the trigger assembly together. We're gonna go ahead and drop those. Um, I have a little tool from Harbor Freight. Real cheap, real easy, drops the pins. You can use a nail if you want to. I put a little piece of cloth, this is a silicone rag on. Pop it out. Second one's a little smaller, it might need a little more coaxing with a dead blow hammer that I have on the side. Thank you, cameraman. So, I like to hang this over the side so the table doesn't hold the pin in. Go ahead and line that up and give it a couple of little light taps. You can feel it going there. I don't like to drop these on the floor, but sometimes it happens, as you saw with the first one, because it came out real nice and easy. There we go. There's the second one. Remove that. Pull up on the trigger guard. Comes right out. So what we want to do is clean this. I have some Remington Bore Bright. of my mat down here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this off. And you can get in here with a brush. Right now I have a clean, brand new red rag. I'm just gonna get in here and wipe it off. Make sure I get all the gunk out. Make sure it's nice and clean. This is relatively clean. I cleaned it after the last time I used it, so I'm just kinda showing you guys in the video here. I have my other favorite lubricant that also does cleaning and protecting. It's a G96 Complete Gun Treatment. It lubricates some of these internal parts here, prevents some rust. I like to get on that on there. And I have a silicone treated rag that I've used. I think this used to be yellow, so it's been used quite a bit. I wipe off all the excess oil with this. And I like to use this to dry up any other dry oil. Okay, so that's nice and clean. Next thing we do is clean inside the action. Sometimes, you see Remington has this little bar here. It's a little tough to get into. If you have some Q-tips, you can get in there with Q-tips. I'm gonna spray some of this more bright to get some of that carbon fouling out of there. You can even use what I used, a little tool from Harbor Freight to drop the pin. Wrap your towel around there and get in there and clean it out. take your time do it quick the most important thing is you get all the plant material out of there from the duck swamps and obviously all the water out I'm gonna put some lubricant in wipe off the excess excess I like to drop the action down as you can see clean behind where the barrel goes in the action up slow and then we clean here sometimes there's some carbon fouling that builds up here you can use a brush to get that off a little bit of bore bright maybe some hoppies if you have some this isn't much here if it gets really bad if you fired a lot of rounds and the heat really melts that on there you can get a brush and scrape that off Okay, 
So that's clean. We're going to reassemble it. We're going to put the barrel on. We have the forearm with the internal parts that we had earlier. This just goes right in the forearm. You can slide it up. I'm going to set this down. Or we can even do it the easy way. I forgot Remington's had this. I haven't cleaned Remington in a while. We can put it on there. Four in. Cap. Now I can put the trigger assembly back in. So this just takes some finesse sometimes. All you have to do is put it in nice and slow and gentle and line up these holes. Of course, this time it's going to be a little difficult. Okay, so first I'm going to take the foreign peg out and I'm going to hammer that back in. I just dropped the pin. <laughs> After somebody works so hard. <laughs> Should we redo that? Okay. So that's back in place. Hopefully we can edit that video because it was a little erratic. Okay, so there's a little bit of excess oil on my hands and on the stock. I'm going to wipe this off with my clean and dry rag. So the next thing I want to do is show you how to clean the barrel. Action's still open. And we have our Tico tool from Outers. A nice little tool. It comes out, ram it down the barrel. You can do this a few times, spray some oil down there first. This barrel is pretty clean. So it has this little hook on the end. Once you clean the barrel real nice, inside the handle, there's a little part that goes on, and you can lube this up. and oil your barrel as you pull it through. So there's a nice, clean, oiled barrel to prevent rust. So the final part that I like to do is if this was out on a duck hunt in the weather, is remove your choke tube, clean it off, spray it, put it back in. You're done. That's how you clean a shotgun. Just more like that, right?